So my name's Sheriff Meme, and that's spelled S-H-E-R-I-F-F, just like the cowboy. I'm um, a men's grooming director at the Rich Barber Association, and I'm a traditional barber that believes in raising the standards of barbering in the world. But when I got to 16, I, I decided, yeah, this is something that I really want to take up because I enjoy the environment and enjoy, you know, working with hair and, you know, the shaves and just the art of the barbering, all, all the side of the barbering was just fantastic, it was great. Well, barbering was much harder back then because barber shops were really busy places and, you know, they were where people used to come out and just hang out in barber shops, get their weekly shaves and, you know, more so people used to have like a wash and a, a hair tonic with a friction and a massage and, you know, a head massage and stuff like that and then a blow dry and a style, so they'd come in like once a week for that. And then they also used to come in obviously for their haircuts on a regular basis. The traditional barbering had, had phased out and, and sort of started to dis disappear. But there was a lot of um, barbers that sort of came together and said, hey, we need to bring back the standards and, and br bring back real traditional barbering. Sheriff does uh, education all over the world, you know, in Hong Kong, Australia, um, Cyprus, all these different places, you know, and people bring him in because he's, uh, he's such a valuable asset in the teaching world, in, you know, especially in men's grooming. He voted the number one shaver in London, he's worked at Truefit and Hill, uh, the world's uh, uh, on record to be the oldest barbershop in the world uh, there in London. By having him here, we're, we're the first and only uh, uh, school in North America that is certified by the British Barbering Association. And, and we've got over 7,000 members now, and, and it's really getting strong. So my, my job role, and what I've always been recognized for, is men's group and traditional fundamental barbering. So just sharp, short back and side lines with facial grooming and hot towel shaves, hair tonics, frictions, you know, stuff that used to go on in barbershops that I actually was lucky enough to work in a barber shop throughout my whole career and still keep the traditional values of barbering up. And you know, it, it was a great time for us and it is now. It's been wonderful. I've always wanted to learn to straight razor shave, but I never really thought I'd have the opportunity here in Oklahoma. So it's been really exciting to have somebody from so far away and somebody with such a big title to come here and teach our staff. Whenever you learn something new, you start noticing things all in a different light. Like, I started looking at my husband's face and seeing the way that his hair was growing and how I could better myself and go the next time, do it a little bit better. And yeah, it was intimidating, but it's really, it's fun. Since I like cutting hair, I think it goes well with that. Greg and Rick um, from the Hair Arts Institute has, you know, called me up. Would you be willing to come out here and just, you know, have a look at what we're delivering and what we're doing within the industry and see if you can help us put some sort of um, criteria together for barbering standards to add to our hairdressing school. The Hair Arts Institute is taking the, the passion that and the most current services and the, the ones that are most passionate about uh, to the forefront of our curriculum and to, uh, to teach that from the very beginning. And as far as men's grooming, uh, women's classic cutting, um, color and chemistry, and editorial styling slash photography. And so we feel like to do that we need to go get the very best of education, whether that has to be in London or whatever part of the world, to bring that world-class education here to Oklahoma City. And, and it's been fun to be here. Rick and Greg and Tammy and, and Travis, they're just great great educators and great people and I know that their school is going to do really well and that's the important thing to be to be taught by someone but then to go out and be able to get that job in the industry is two different things and these guys really know what they're doing that is 